TCR Strong started out, part of it was how I trained for bobsledding. And then um, talking with my wife, we modernized it a bit. And it went from strength endurance to strength, to explosive strength, to maximum strength, to explosive strength endurance. And it really just, um, the whole program was a gradual progression of strength building that became safe. And people were starting to move weight and move it well. I'm in a big leaf, told don't miss me. Ballin' like Houston, hey, feeling like Whitney. I need a bag, bruh, send it too quickly. I'm making his dog, like I'm in a big leaf. Told him that I gotta go, dog. I'm riding a road, y'all. I think that I'm back in my bag now. So I need that go, y'all. Got his when he throw in the fastball. So it's Wednesday, June 16th, 1.42. And we pretty much just wrapped up with the conditioning room filming. Been coming here over the past week, just documenting, shooting interviews, really with just Mike and his wife, Brittany, uh, the owners of the gym, but also conducting a ton of shooting uh, in regards to getting good solid B-roll to kind of tell the story. Now, this is actually the second location of two you guys have probably or can see some of the behind the scenes. I wanted to give you a glimpse into kind of what we had going on here in regards to pretty much the whole setup. Now, I've got the GoPro going on here, and this is also an opportunity to give you guys a glance at like how it was backlit, how we had our main, our key light, which is going to be here. Obviously, we've got the GH5 as our wide main shot. We've got the GH4 over here. Our audio solution is the Stenhauser microphones, the G3s going into the Zoom H4. Obviously we got the ability to listen to our audio and yeah, that's pretty much kind of the setup for this particular uh, set here. Now behind us, obviously we had the gym members that were doing the working out, uh, letting me shoot B-roll of them. Everything being shot, whether it be uh, 24 frames per second or whether it be uh, 60 or 60 slow-mo, you name it. We kind of experimented and did our fair share. But yeah, over the past few days, this has really just been kind of what we've been doing. Now we didn't have any control of the lights in the space. So I'm having to bring in my own lights to kind of do the best that we can. Now that's gonna be something that you're gonna probably find in a lot of different scenarios. Most of the time, you're just gonna have to work with what you've been given. For instance, like the AC here, you guys can possibly hear it. There's actually three AC units. And to be honest with you, really wasn't gonna be a situation where we could actually turn it off. It's summertime here in Virginia, so you're gonna have to have the AC pumping, which is why, particularly for most of the interviews and stuff, audio is gonna be right here and actually taped. Sorry to see my belly and stuff. But this is what we all, uh, also did for Mike and his audio. Also, onboard audio was all with Panasonic GH5 using the Movo VXM or VXR10 Pro model VXM R10. I forget. Um, you guys can see over here the setup that we have. Yeah, and I mean this has been the go-to for the past three to five days. The old GH4 here with the calm light speed booster the nifty 50 shooting at like an f i want to say i was shooting at like an f32 f35 yep shooting log footage you guys can see the wide shot here get a glance at the whole setup nothing special guys nothing too crazy here and so yeah, these videos or this type of video, I just wanted to give you like a true kind of behind the scenes look at, you know, a global production in kind of like its true form. I'm in a big leaf, told them don't miss me. Bought it like Houston, hey, feeling like Whitney. I need a bag, bruh, send it too quickly. I'm making his dog, like I'm in a big leaf. Told them that I gotta go, dog. I'm riding a road, y'all. I think that I'm back in my bag now. So I need that go, y'all. Got hits when they throw in the fastball.